Uniting our community on 105 FM. Canon FM. Then, uh, currently playing up at Theatre Cluid is the uh, the touring production of Moira Buffini's Gabriel, uh, starring Paul McGann. Uh, many will remember Paul as uh, Withnail and I Star. I can't even tell you the character's name because he's the I bit. Brilliant, brilliant Withnail and I. Get it on your bucket list if you haven't seen it. And uh, he is also the eighth Doctor Who, one for the kids. Uh, it stars also Belinda Lang, who many will remember uh, from TV's 2.4 Children, uh, Jules Melvin, Robin Morrissey, Sarah Schombeck, and Venice Van Summeren. This is set during the Second World War, and uh, a family is held captive in Nazi-occupied Guernsey, 1943. A mysterious stranger turns up with severe memory loss. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is when the troubles really start. I popped up to Theatre Cluid to catch the first production of Gabriel. And afterwards, I caught a word with actress Venice Van Summeren. Here she is. How was it tonight for you? Yeah, good. We, I mean, we, it's always a bit nerve-wracking on the first night, but actually we have such a lovely audience and it's such a beautiful space. Yeah. It's really... And it's so nice especially to come out and have a full crowd. It's amazing because yeah. it just like really drives everything and you're really geared up to do it. It was brilliant actually. So an opening night must be a, a, a special thing. But Absolutely. You're on yeah. Tour, aren't you? Well so. yeah but we're on tour so it kind of means that we get an opening night every week which is just brilliant because <laughs> then you sort of like I go around and knock on everyone's doors for the first show at every venue because yeah. it's like break a leg, new first night, let's do it. <laughs> you know it's nice like you kind of get to refresh the show every yeah. week which is really really cool. So yeah. So do each theatre have a different kind of vibe to it? Different Absolutely. It? Yeah well so I mean, all this, but literally the, the spaces are just different. They yeah. sound different. You know, the audience are in slightly different places. So here, there, everyone's all on one tier, which is just it's great because we play some spaces where you're sort of trying to make sure you get up to the people at the back and stuff like that but here it just feels like everyone's all part of one family yeah. in the audience so that's really that's really fun to play actually because you feel like you're reaching everybody and everybody can connect with you so yeah it's different and then the people are different as well you know not better or worse necessarily but just there's a different kind of energy you, that you get back from the audience so tonight people seem to be really enjoying it which is really yeah. lovely well I thought yeah. that because it seemed to me that's quite, a, it's quite it was quite funny yeah <laughs> the, the, yeah. you know, it's about the world. It's about World War II. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's yeah, it's tricky because it's it's one of those plays where I mean, you know, you can't sell it as a comedy no. because people would come and be like, "What's going? This is not. This is not yeah. a comedy." And yet, it does have these moments of you know, very black humour, but yeah. it is funny. It really is funny. You know, we had bits in rehearsals where we were in stitches, <laughs> but it, it is. But then also, it's that's what's kind of so beautiful about it, so beautiful about the writing is that you get the audience gets lulled into this false sense of security because we're making you laugh. We're like, funny, funny, funny. Everyone's having a good time. Yeah. But then remember, by the way, that like he's a Nazi and there's a war going on and all yes. these bad things are happening. So don't laugh too much. Well, I which felt is, that. Which is fun. It's fun for us to do. We feel like you're, we're playing with you a bit. So we're like, yeah, yeah, we'll make you laugh, but just you wait till act two, you know. Absolutely. Because I mean, yeah. there, was, there, was, there was moments where you all, as an audience member, you almost feel a bit sort of guilty for laughing. Right. Partly, actually, at some moments, just to release the tension. Because the tension has got, we feel like on stage, you know, we come yeah. off and we're like, ooh. But there's just bits where you really have to kind of like let that dissipate. And I think the audience feel that. So you get these little laughs in places that feel a bit awkward, actually. Yeah. But it's all part of it. And it's part of the build. It's, it's how it's so beautifully written as well, yeah. that it all builds up. You know, but it's there. Yeah. And it's, but I mean, that's part of what's so beautiful about the story as well, that it's all just about these people and what they're like and how they're shaped by the war and you know I mean that feel like for me that's one of the really strong themes of the show is just how war can shape your identity and that really happens to all of them in, in a very individual way to each of the characters who they are is shaped by the war and the situation that they're in and, and uh, Paul McGann's character the, the Nazi is no exception you yeah. know and he says himself that he's been changed that he's the slave of this force that is controlling him and that's yeah. not who he wants to be but it's sort of taking him in one direction that he can't resist absolutely so, yeah. well, so I saw a documentary actually about World War II oh really and all the Germans yeah were exactly the same as we are yeah 
they were all sort of yeah, gung ho for the Nazis, and right. it was like, well, of course they're going to be. Mad. They're yeah. going to be up for their own team, aren't yeah. they? In a way. <laughs> Which kind you of know. makes sense. But then, I mean, so because we did obviously a lot of research about the Germans on Guernsey in particular, where the plane set, there are lots of stories of actually German soldiers who weren't that taken by Hitler or by, you know, the party and everything. And actually, they, you know, they really befriended, you know, say children on the island because they missed their own children back in Germany. And there are lots of, like, relationships going on between, like, island women and uh, German soldiers. Yeah. Because, you know, at the end of the day, again, they're just people and they're just, they've been caught up in this thing that they don't have any control over. So it's really, really, there's some really interesting stories about people who lived on Guernsey during, during the occupation. It's really fascinating. Yeah. Where else are you going? We're going to Greenwich. Right. We're going to Windsor next week. And our last week is in Guildford at the Ovanano. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah, so a few more to go. We're about, we're coming up to halfway through now. So, right. Yeah. Do you think you'll miss it when you leave this oh one? Oh my God, absolutely. Honestly, this has been a dream of a job. Everyone yeah. is just so wonderful, so friendly. We, and we all get on so well. And the crew are amazing. Honestly, yeah. I'd like, and I know people say that all the time, but seriously, on this, it's just so true. And yeah. we're like one little family and it's just the best. It's just been so much fun. I will Perfect. miss it horribly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. Fantastic. What an awesome, awesome production that was. Uh, Gabriel playing up at Theatre Cluid. Uh, I have just actually noticed, uh, I, I normally give out the uh, the box office number. I will anyway, because there's lots to see at Theatre Cluid over the coming months. Uh, but uh, I think this production of Gabriel is completely sold out. Uh, but I will give you the number anyway. You can try. You might get a return. You never know. 01352 701 521. 01352 701 521. Uh, give it a ring. See if you can go and see Paul McGann doing what he does best. Do you know what I mean? And also as well, coming to the William Aston Hall in Wrexham, I, I mentioned this earlier, but uh, a bit of a tidy month coming up for uh, for the William Aston Hall. Uh, Sarah Pascoe is coming up uh, midweek, Thursday the 27th of April, comedian. Uh, Ali Jones on the 8th of May, then on the 12th of May, Shapiko Sandy, then on the 25th of May, Joel Domit, comedian again. You might, you might remember him from I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. Joel Domit came second. Brilliant. Andy Parsons on the 26th of May. I'm going to that. Then uh, somebody called Twin, Atlant- Twin Atlantic. Never heard of them. Are they a band? 30th of May. And then in September, jumping forward, Heather Small on the 24th of September. And then the week later, on the 29th of September, the Bay City Rollers are coming to town. To get tickets to go and see anything at uh, the William Aston Hall at the Glyndora University, 0844 888 So there you go. If you've got nothing better to do, grab your socks and get yourself out there. 